Welcome back to Austin Business Report and for our corporate news today, Thai Beverage has officially exercised its newly won control over Serm Sook with the appointment of four directors including Tapana Siri Watana Pakdi as well as the filing of a tender offer for the company's shares. Aside from Tapana, who is President and Chief Executive Officer of Thai Beverage, appointed to the Sermsuk board yesterday to replace the four directors representing Pepsi Co. Group or Siti Chai Chai Kriang Krai, Gan Jit Wimon, and Cho Di Pat B. Chayanun. The four new directors replaced Ronald Stewart McUrshan, Stefano Sartoretti, and Manu Anan, as well as Tanmaya Vats. The appointment follows PepsiCo's group's agreement to withdraw from the fight with SS National Logistics for control over Sumsuk. Under the agreement, SS National Logistics has to buy out the 110 million shares of Sumsuk held by PepsiCo Group at 58 baht apiece and tender for all remaining shares. However, Despite insisting it has no relationship with Thai beverage, SS National Logistics has passed on its rights to tender offer to the beverage giant. Thai Beverage Logistics, a wholly owned subsidiary of Thai Bev, yesterday filed a tender offer for all 265.9 million shares at 58 baht apiece or a total of 15.42 billion baht. Excluding the brokerage fee and value-added tax, sellers will receive 57.84 baht net per share. Shermsuk's share price yesterday closed 0.44% higher at 57.5 baht. The tender offer will run for 25 business days from today through October 19. Buolung Securities is acting on behalf of Thai Beverage Logistics. Thai Beverage Logistics has forged a credit facility with Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corp's Bangkok branch to finance the deal. Meanwhile, Bangkok Bank Vice Chairman De Sha Tulanon said yesterday that the bank was ready to participate in loan syndication for the deal. He added that the amount was huge and syndication was therefore likely. And now for our business journal for today, we have Kun Patsurang Desha Putarangsi, our reporter, to report on the Twai Maker Project on AEC Corridor. Twai, Tavoy, and Dawai are all different words, but have understandably similar meanings. They refer to one of the most lucrative seaports in Southeast Asia. As meaningful as the terms convey, Dawa Deep Seaport Project is to be fully developed with excessively refined roads and logistics, which is supported by the Italian Thai development. At Central Place Hotel, Samut Sakhon Province, it is a seminar about the Dawa Deep Seaport Mega Project, an industrial estate and a trans-border corridor link. From the framework agreement signed on 2nd November 2010 between Myanmar Port Authority and Italian Thai Development Public Company Limited, or ITD, on the Dawai project, ITD has been granted the right from the Myanmar government to develop the Dawai project covering the area of 250 kilometers for the development of the Dawai Special Economic Zone. The law on the zone was enacted on 27th January 2011 to promote a competitive business environment, inducing long-term foreign investment and facilitating future business establishment. The international investors will enjoy competitive advantages including competitive tax benefits, relaxation of foreign exchange control and one-stop service with full autonomy for issuing all business permits and licensing. The city of Tawai is located on the southern shoreline of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, or Burma, approximately 350 kilometers west of Bangkok. Its strategic location is geographically feasible for a new gateway route, providing direct access to the Indian Ocean serving as a linkage to the rest of the Greater Mekong subregion's southern economic corridor. Located in a resource-rich country, especially in oil and gas, minerals and timber, 
Taiwan will undoubtedly transform into the future mega manufacturing hub from heavy down to light industries. Impacts of Hong Thai and ASEAN investors, especially when ASEAN Economic Community 2015 nears. Well, to start with, the particular project is an ASEAN connectivity. So it enhances economic corridors, it enriches uh, profit, prosperity, and at the same time, uh, it, it helps employment, helps technology transfer. Practically, we have already quantified the impacts in terms of values quite clear. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, any political instability, like the biggest concern of this project? Well, that, that's part, part of the project implementations. Mm -hmm. There are primary concerns about sanctions, about instability and such like, but I think we can live with that as far as we realize at this moment. We have come with particular success in terms of implementation. We don't find a, any difficulty in terms of Non, in terms of government support, project is pretty well secure, what we like to say. What is the significance of Samut Sakhon in terms of Dawei mega project development? Uh, that is uh, our the logistic in, in Samut Sakhon that uh, we, will, we will be uh, decrease our uh, cost of the logistic. This is the, the, big, the big uh we, we can call the big investment that we can we can uh, do in, on the on the Smusa Court. So, um, how about the social impact? For example, people near the Dawei Seaport, the Burmese people, they have to be relocated anywhere. Uh, what sort of compensation would you propose in order to prevent possible unrest in the region? Maybe our investor in Smusa Court maybe move move to the to the the way project maybe be, because uh, in the meantime now the government policy is uh, increase the the wages and so we may uh, many many entrepreneur may move the project uh, the may move the investment to the Dawei project from the Dawei project perspective, what are the impacts of Hong Thai and ASEAN investors, especially when ASEAN economic community in 2015 comes close? ในภาคกลางโดยเฉพาะจังหวัดกาญจนบุรีซึ่งเป็นเอ่อด่านที่ออกไปสู่ทวายเนี่ยนะครับก็มีการขอสัมปทานกันประมาณ 15 เมตรซึ่งจากการสํารวจของไจก้าองค์กรไจก้าทั้งประเทศประมาทนะครับในการก่อสร้างทางเดียวExpected to be ready by year 2015, ITD is currently implementing the plan for the development of the basic infrastructure to serve the investors' requirements, consisting of world-class multi-purpose deep sea ports, highway and rail links to Thailand, electricity from own sources of hydro and coal-fired power plants, and abundant water supply and treatment system. The Dawai Mega Project 
is actually among the mainland corridor, making the region, the ASEAN region, as an economic hub. Hatsurang Desha Putarangsi, Nation Broadcasting Corporation, reporting for ASEAN TV. That's all the time for us in Business Report today. Thank you for watching us. You can follow us Monday to Friday from noon to 1 p.m. You can also give us your comments and feedback on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Report or our Twitter account at AusinBizReport. Uh, this is Nadekon Swadi. I'm Ongnan Amatayakun. Sorry, Krab. Sorry, Krab.